<laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, there's an option to crash the game. There's an option to crash the game. Look. Why? <laughs> okay, so there's an option to crash the game. Click it, see what happens. I dare you. If I want to, we'll try it out later. We'll try it out at the end. So arrow keys, the VSD more cursor, I got that. Enter left mouse. So space is select. So that's the same as our same day shift. Yeah. Escape, right mouse is back. I think that's normal, right? Yeah. This also brings up the quick menu in game. Yeah, so the pause menu. F4 full screen, don't have to worry about that. Shift to bring up conversation log. Yeah, that's new. And Q to skip dialogue. Well, I don't need to fucking remember that unless we play through this again. So, uh, let's go. Yeah, so I think the quest log might be just like I mean like the Oh, shit, shut up. Already after good start. <laughs> We're talking to a dog entity. Hello. Welcome to the Dial Town phone dating sim demo. You must now answer this hound's questions three. Okay, what do we got? Alright, let's do this. Is there any particular reason that you're speaking in all caps? Wait, am I me right now or me right now? It's okay. Which one should I go for? No, oh, no. One in red. This is like oh, it's the best one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait. Am I me right now or me right now? You want to look sober enough to answer that question accurately? <laughs> you look like a fucking hell. <laughs> That's uh, as hurtful as it is accurate, you know? So I mean, I mean I'm sad. I feel bad. Alright, if you shut up, I can ask you what your name is. Am I seriously gonna have my name? <laughs> oh, it's serious. Oh, right. Anywho, what's your name? Phone, wait, phone ging, I, phone gin, gingy, phone gingy. What? Hold on, that's, I don't the, see that's this. the default fucking name. Phone gingy. What the? <laughs> no, fuck that. We'll call okay, him. Wait, okay, uh, okay, like the phone. Look. Yeah, the phone. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> Let's go with this. We'll think of something else when the game comes out. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> that's your name? Yeah, I'm a phone. <laughs> Oh, hun, I'm so sorry. And what's that supposed to mean? Hmm, nope, don't like that response. I'm just how God made me, dog. <laughs> Which one? Uh, third one, third one, third one. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying you're not. Anywho, second question. You're more of a phone or a typewriter. Owner a typewriter. <laughs> well, I call myself the phone, so I'm obviously a typewriter. I know, right? <laughs> no, this choice changes your appearance and some of the possible routes you can take, but your head doesn't necessarily determine gender, and you'll get to choose how you're referred to in dialogue. Next question. Which one? Phone or typewriter? Phone. Yeah. We are the phone. <laughs> Ah, nice. Enjoy having telemarketers living in your head. Wait, no, I changed my mind. I want to go back. Well, I'd rather be a phone than a fucking dog. My greatest burden is remembering where I've buried my old breadsticks at any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices thusly. Now, final question. Yeah, here we go. Get to choose my gender. What? What? Spelled W-O-T. What's your your gender den, might? No, this choice determines your pronouns and doesn't define anything except for how people refer to you in dialogue. So I'm a male, I'm a female, or I'm just a question mark. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> 
want to be a goblin. <laughs> You're a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Daddy Doggo. Should I play the game now? <laughs> Which one? I don't know. Thanks, Daddy Doggo. <laughs> what did I say about calling me that? You didn't say shit. <laughs> All right, dude, get out of my sight. Okay. That was weird. What the hell? I'm already loving this. I already love this game. <laughs> oh, this is. Ah, uh, this, this looks familiar. Hmm. <clears throat> What the hell is this music? It seems I'm alive again. <laughs> you know what he did? Yes! <laughs> I saw this in the damn trailer. No. I hate it when I do that. <laughs> this is a normal day in the life of a clone. My non-specific reproductive organs are firm and ripe. <laughs> They're here, I just murdered my child. <laughs> my my must be getting ready to hatch. The time for reproduction is now. <laughs> I'm just trying to do something with my eggs. <laughs> Wait, I just, I just realized he's watching me. What the heck? <laughs> It's like watching a bird take a shit. Like, you don't want that. I must find a dank dark bit to lay my eggs in. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't you? Fairground. Fairground is dark. Dark and greasy. Or dank and greasy, rather. Let's go to Freddy's. Plentiful supply of carnival food nearby. Yes. Let's go to the carnival. Mission gain, go to fun fair. Why not go to Freddy? <laughs> I mean, he did say there were a couple DSAF cameos in the demo. All right, Freddy. Oh, well, there we have it. The carnival. No close yet so far. Must gain it. Oh, God. It must penetrate it. them. <laughs> my high railings. <laughs> Those railings are hardly a mile high. Faster narrator, be play eggs. <laughs> well, you could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy, it just might work. God. That's the first thing I would do, you fucking idiot. Oh god, what the hell is that? Who the hell has a rotary phone for a head? I know, right? Wait, tickets, two for one. Please don't bang on the glass. It scares Jerry. He'll refund. <laughs> Greetings, ticket buffoon. My name is Jerry, but okay, goblin. Okay, wait, I'm actually a fucking goblin. He wasn't <laughs> lying, I'm a fucking goblin. <laughs> <laughs> How can I help you today? Oh my god. I yes. wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Yeah, Jerry. Well, do you have a ticket, goblin? Nah, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> If you wish to find a fitted hole to lay my eggs in. Okay, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats. How much would that cost? Two dollars. <laughs> Fudge, I have zero dollars. <laughs> Tell me, young man. <laughs> Did you not? <laughs> you like slam Taco Bell for like five minutes? Five boy burrito, here I come. <laughs> Tell me, young squire, would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Ah, shoot. We're so close, too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in the tent, in the tent next to the playground at the park? <laughs> oh, why? Oh no, my cover has been blown. Look, goblin beast of indiscriminate species and gender. I'm only telling you this because your stench is just gonna drive away more sales from you standing here than if I don't. It's Valentine's Day today. Valentine's Day? Isn't that for romantic people? Valentine's Day? 
It, it's a day designed by the chocolate flowers industry where a single dad drink a bottle of gin for dinner. <laughs> Wait, why am I explaining this to you? You're barely sentient. These are dead ready to for you after all, so. Look, hissing and drunk and single dads aside, Valentine's Day is a day for people who are, you know, in love. Love? What in God's green earth is that? Is this love thing a type of feeling? I don't really do those things. What, which one? I don't know. What on green's earth is that? Love is, well... Love is what happens when two grown-ups start craving more than just busyness, handshakes, and platonic ice cream breaks. Love makes two people want to go on romantic ice cream dates and drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. When two grown-ups are in love, they all make joint bank accounts together and go to the movies together. Just eat popcorn kernels to the rats and cockroaches there. <laughs> And then one day, if you're lucky, your partner, your partner will take the kids away forever. <laughs> <You're mercy. laughs> Wait, what are you doing? Your partner will take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, <laughs> the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as you and will make six percent more per year than you and your kid finally take a good night, have a good night's sleep. Oh my God, I'm so done. That's the my goblin friend. Speaking of which, we have a promotion on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets are the price of one for couples who are in the. You can somehow convince someone to bring you here. You can, I don't know, force them to pay you in, like a like a parasite. <laughs> Granted, it'll take a real bastard to mission acquired. Oh, God fucking must source make. Okay. Uh, go do that. <laughs> Away from here. <laughs> I'm done. Okay, me go now. Just you see, Jerry. Mr. Jerry Ticket. I'll be back with a smoking hot babe. Hey, Ticket Jerry. Are you by any chance free on Valentine's D? <laughs> with that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> Lost. God damn it. <laughs> Scuttle away. Scuttle her away. Scuttle her away. <laughs> Chapter one, the fun fair date. That was a weird fucking intro. I love it. <laughs> They're all dead and you are wasting time. Okay, we're back in the uh... Ah, tent, sweet tent. To find a well functioning member of society to latch onto like a parasite, you'll have to leave your tent, you know. Damn, I hate moving, even when necessary. Can't just I can't just lay my eggs in here. Oh, do I have to? Great, great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. Which one? Great stuff. Let's go lay these eggs. <laughs> you sure? Shouldn't I go? Damn, I hate moving. You can yeah, do that one. Keep in mind, this is, this tent freely occupies a road to the un unwatched patch of grass at Dial Town's local park. AKA, you are dangerously close to these four swans at any given moment while in this squalid tent. Would your babies really be safe in here? Ah, shit. You're right. Hit it when you're right. Leave your tent, open menu, give up on your love quest. Oh, damn it. Fuck. Open menu. Line advert requires you to meet the seller on an undiscovered coastal rock formation. Then perhaps you should just buy your ostrich meat from another Israeli man. Me. I am so wise. Back to the slaughter then. What? I open the menu and it tells me this fucking quote from Direct Doggo with a buff phone guy and an exit sign. Oh, wait. Oh. 
Uh, behold the optionals. Cower back to the. Oh, I see. This is the fucking main menu. Refresh the inspirational quote. I don't know what weapons World War Three will be fought with. I'm not a genius. Let my ass off. Steven Einstein. <laughs> Wait, Steven. Steven's back. <laughs> Steven's fucking back. Refresh. Oh, is that it? <laughs> no, here's another one. Fuck it. Farago. <laughs> See, that's the quote. Fuck it by Farago. <laughs> but demon or supernatural requires you to wear socks with sandals during the summoning ritual. I have no clue who you are summoning, but he's likely much worse than Satan. Pope Phonius the Ninth. Today I ate a bowl of porridge, drank a bottle of gin, and wept. Tomorrow I might change up the order. Direct dog man. <laughs> Doggo, you really need to stop doing this. My mother, upon finding the good come back. <laughs> Seriously, this, this quote was by my mother, upon finding the good come back. Oh my <laughs> god. Uh... Doleful raccoon noises. The raccoon I have contained in my garage, where it can do no longer do any harm. <laughs> that means it's dead. You break it, you buy a Joseph Stalin! <laughs> <laughs> Leave the playground. What? Oh, I can summon a kid. Childer, Childer. Gather round, Childer. Oh, my oh what God. the fuck? So, little, oh god, fuck him, Little Billy. It's Little Billy. <laughs> hey, Bozo, can I help you? Child. Yeah, I am a child. What of it? <laughs> I'm four, I am four foot seven, smell like grass, despite never touching it due to me having a grass app on my phone. And I take my crystal meth licorice flavor. <laughs> So Kids grow up so fast nowadays. Why I remember when I was your age. I'm your ha I'm your hatchling. Why my tail hadn't even grown yet. Okay, scary green person. Clean. Say, aren't you not allowed to get 25 get within 25 feet of this here playground? Jokes on you. You're vertically stunted. You <laughs> Jokes on you. You vertically stunted shit <laughs> I measure the gravel for summoning you. I'm just within an irresponsibly marginal but still legal distance. <laughs> ah. You're less than 25 feet from me, though. No, no, no. No, uh. We learned about two digit numbers in school yesterday, so your reptile brain bullshit won't work on me this time, bozo. Well, double jokes on you, you little scrub. <laughs> <laughs> you little scrub. Oh my god. The law says that I can't give it to 25 feet of the playground. Not the little scrub it's contained within its confines. <laughs> Technically, you approach me. I win. So, if I go back to the slide, you can't talk to me without shouting. Okay. See you later then, bozo. Please, no, I need intel. This is the question about the birds and the bees, and I'm sorry, but my dad got really angry when I asked him about that for you. Turns out shit gets nasty when birds fuck. <laughs> oh, it's not that question this time. Then, what is it? Can you pay me into the fun fair? What are the new cool words? Say what do kids eat. Nah, fuck it, I'm done, you're just Miss Chad. Can you pay me into the fun fair? Are you seriously begging me? Begging from children now? Have you sunk that low? No, it was just, it was a jest, merely a hilarious joke. I was, <laughs> that's a lie. I was always capable of such things. There is no long and lower than I can sink from to now. No, it was a jest, merely a joke, hilarious joke. My bones are still forming and I have no more sophisticated sense of humor than you. Is it internalized this information thus? God damn it, kids nowadays. When I was a kid, we just drank lead paint and threw rocks at geese. <laughs> why? Is that why you're green? Nah, I was green long before I touched lead paint. But you're right, I, had I not been before. 
probably would have been turned green afterwards. Alright, you done then, Bozo? Lie down on the grass. It's relaxation time, friendos. You have friends? Shut. This just tranquil. It really is quite serene, yes? It's good to get away from the big city. The one you're only like two yards further away from. Yeah, the peacefulness really helps un unclench the old sphincter, all right. <laughs> why? Er, why don't I do this more often? Well, usually the grass here is laden with blades, syringes, and other unmentionables. Well, it's a good thing that... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I really am green! But I got a plate full of shit in my arm! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's going faster now. <laughs> ah, fuck my arm! Oh god, oh fuck, oh shit, oh no! Ouch. Yeah, I think I can see a scratch or two, alright. This, <laughs> this is why I hate nature and shit. Oh, technically, syringes are completely made, made of use and used, so like, silence there, Raider. Yeah, you might want to find a band aid or tin for a few of those little scrapes if you can. Then again, your penniless and band aids don't exactly grow on trees. Oh, but you syringes grow in fields! <laughs> <laughs> How is that even remotely fair? Oh, shut up, you wounded crybaby. Yes. Come on, back to the park we go then. What the fuck did I want? You watch your phone get a freaking armful of syringes and other blades. In the area, summon a local hobo. Summon a hobo. <laughs> hobo dial town, I summon thee. <laughs> Fucking direct. Direct doggo. Local hobo, amateur game developer. It's fucking direct doggo. Yo. Hey, nice to meet you, kid. The name's, the name's Hound. You need something? Are you indeed a hobo? Hey, nice to meet you. you are you indeed a hobo? Well, yeah, I do piss in dumpsters and sleep in alleys and such, but being a hobo ain't my main gig. <laughs> yeah, I can tell with your poopy shirt and shitty shorts. Yeah, thing is, I'm kind of like God and stuff. <laughs> I created everything around you right now and farted out the cosmos and the stars and shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of a big deal, actually look like a hobo. Hang on, you created everything? Which one? I don't know. Uh, you look like a hobo or hang on, you created everything. Which one sounds funny here? You look like a hobo. Those things aren't me too exclusive, little buddy. So if you're God, then how did you end up creating everything? You ever, like, leave a takeout box in the corner of your room and forget to, to bin the box only to find a new species evolved from the remains of your chicken and Thai curry from last month. That's freaking disgusting. <laughs> this world is my takeout box, and I'm a hungover to gazing upon the infinite possibility in disgust and awe. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I gotta get going. Are you drunk right now? What's your favorite hobby? If you're God, what's the meaning of life then? Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? Punch God. And you pay me into the fun fair, God. You pay me into the fun fair. No, I gotta. Are you drunk right now? Is it 11 a.m. yet? <sighs> Awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. And I'm indeed moments away from severe liver failure. Yes. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, shit, I feel bad now. What's your favorite hobby? You ever eat broken glass or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still, don't knock it until you've tried it. Partial to the taste of gravel myself, you look like you eat broken glass, alright. 
Partial taste of gravel. Gravel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? At least forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken glass and shiny rocks? See? There we go. Fucking... Dear God, what's the meaning of life? You want me to come up with a reason for all of this existing? Can you remember why you created the universe? I don't remember what I ate this morning. God. <laughs> Probably ate trash, knowing me. So can you, like, come up with the meaning of life right now? Fuck that. You come up with the meaning of life. It'd probably be a million times more coherent than what I could think of. I think the meaning of life is a treat is to treat other people nicely. I think the meaning of life is to eat or be eaten. Life is merely a game, dear hobo. I think life has no meaning and that you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I don't know. I think life is no, has no meaning and that you're full of shit. I don't know, man. In fairness, I am full of shit. Don't get me wrong. But there probably is a reason we're all here, whatever the heck that could be. Well, if the reason's so important, then how on earth could you forget it? Now hang on there, I've got enough people mis misquoting me as is. I simply stated that there probably was a reason that not that said reason made sense or was even remotely important. Please do remember, I'm just a little meat a creature creature at the end of the day i know not what i do aren't you also like god yeah a most a tax man asks do you think having a yacht yeets you straight into the top tax man try illegally owning the whole fucking universe and every bullshit creature residing in it also i thought he just pulled off his right leg then i realized that he's like his legs like this. His legs are like, like cross. No, his legs are like this. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought he lost his fucking right leg. And then I was like, oh, it's right there. He, I pay my fair share in agony already. Thank you very much, Mr. Taxman. That was a long conversation about what the meaning of life was. Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to a god? What is God to a non-believer? Most traffic cops have hold more power than you, and you know it. <laughs> okay, which one? You don't need to be It's God to a non-believer. Honestly, no judgment here, pal. I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. Oh god. Sad. Oh god. Here's the option. I can either punch him or ask him to pay me. I wanna punch him though. Really fucking big. Factory stop. You fool. God, how can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. Could you be so naive? I Okay. I appear to have just shit myself. <laughs> you win this round, great one. 